Uh, they've had a lot of festivities leading up to opening day as well, showing us some new food, but also a really innovative new approach to helping out uh, people who come to the game who maybe need a respite from all of the noise and all of the activity. Mary Al Moses live inside Target Field, continuing our opening day team coverage. Al? Hey Jason, so yeah, I am inside the United Healthcare Sensory Suite. It's brand new this season at Target Field. And this is for anyone, kids and adults, all inclusive, who may get overstimulated from the chaos of the ballpark. It's especially helpful for those with autism. Now I'm in one of the communal rooms right now. You can see there's lots of activities. There's blocks, there's letters and colored, uh, colored blocks kids can play with. There's also books over here and different activity kits that they can play with. And if you can't get up to the suite level for any reason, but you need some help with over with some desensitizing of the of the overstimulation. There is a sensory kit at every guest services area throughout the ballpark that you can pick up. It has headphones inside as well as activities. What's so cool about the space is it has a view of the ballpark the whole time, which is unique for a sensory suite. Which other stadiums around town have this, but this is definitely one of the most unique ones, state of the art. Now I want to show you one of the private rooms here that you can get into that is also soundproof. Take a look at the soundproof sensory suite room. It's of course uh, has areas where you can rest and play that are baseball themed as well as more colored blocks. And what's so neat about this space is you can change the color inside. So here we're going to switch to pink. Uh, like that. And you can change the color to whatever calming color you need. There's also these fun lights that you can play with. Definitely anything that can help kind of calm someone down from the chaos of a ballpark. And the best part is you don't need a ticket or special access. It's on the suite level. Anyone can come here throughout the game. We'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, just I mean, it's just great that so many more people will then now have the opportunity to come if they were worried about coming before. Um, Jason, you are like a little kid out there. You and Matt, that was so much fun, uh, that interview. <laughs> it's it's it is just a special feeling. There is something about baseball and especially the optimism, Heather and Al, that I think it brings back to downtown Minneapolis. We all know uh, how much downtown has been hurting. And I'll tell you, I don't think there's anything that will be more of a salve uh, for downtown Minneapolis and having a wins twin a winning twins team and having people coming back to this ballpark. Right. Marielle knows this is a long time, long suffering twins fan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I think a Minnesota sports fan in general, you know what suffering's like, but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hopeful. And that's also a Minnesota feeling as well, to always be hopeful, right? Oh, good. <laughs> Lots of fun out there this morning. We will check back with both of you in just a little bit.